Hello guys, uh, welcome back to MedZone African Motives. Uh, this is our grade seven actually, mathematics uh, teaching plan that you are going to need as you are going to be working with your topics. This is your term four. So I'm actually presenting this because I've seen uh, in terms of our grade eight mathematics, uh, some of our grade sevens have been commenting from the videos I'm doing grade seven and this video for grade eight is helping me. So we are going to actually have a part that is separate so that you speak, you work exactly with your, your own, what is exactly that you're supposed to be working with. I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying it is wrong for you to revise uh, those grade eight uh, videos as you have been doing some of you. No, I'm not saying it's wrong, but we are going to be working with exactly what is meant for you so that you properly understand that. So this is your term form. What is it that you're going to be talking about? In your term form, they need you to work, first part, the areas and perimeters of 2D shapes. So you must be able to calculate the perimeter of regular and irregular polygons to calculate the perimeter. You must also use appropriate formulas wherever there are formulas that are to be needed. You're supposed to use the appropriate, uh, appropriate formula to calculate perimeter and area. You must use appropriate formulas as you are to calculate the perimeter of or the area of square. You're going to be talking of the squares. The rectangle, meaning to say you're going to be talking of the rectangles. A triangle, meaning to say you're going to be talking of the triangles. They want you to know the formulas necessary for these three. So that is going to be your syllabus. And also you are supposed to be knowing how to make calculations and solving problems now. That is to solve problems involving perimeter and areas as long it is on perimeter and area of polygons calculate at least to at least one decimal place in your at least one decimal place then use and convert between appropriate si unit including these units you are supposed to convert from the square millimeters to square centimeters convert square centimeters to square meters or vice versa it can be this one to this one it can be this one to this one it can be this one to this it can be just vice versa. So we're going to talk about that as we are doing our revisions, but this is what you need to know. So make sure that you are prepared. Revise as much as you can. And also they need you to be working on the surface area and volume of 3D objects. 3D objects. So the major part that they need you to work on is on the cubes and the rectangular, uh, rectangular prisms. And also to describe the relationship between surface area and volumes of the objects mentioned above. Calculating and solving problems as we saw on the area. We also need that on the surface area and volumes. And also the conversion of units. How to convert between appropriate SI units. So we're going to talk about that. Make sure that you revise, guys, make sure that you do revise. And also, the last part that they need you to do is to work on your data handling. That is, collect your data and also provide learners with the data to save time when you are a teacher. This is for us, guys. Here, they just want you to know this part of data handling. We're going to talk about that. So make sure that you are prepared as you are moving on. And this is the last but not the least that you are going to have a formal assessment task, which is an examination, paper one and paper two, which is going to have all topics. Take note now from term one to four, from term one to four, meaning to say this part of your revision here you are supposed to utilize as much as you can to revise what you did in term one, in term two, in term three, because you're going to cover that. Term one, two, four. So they are saying revise everything, all these, all these that we did here, all this part that I just explained, like the topics that you need. But do not forget 
to revise back what you had before in your term three. What is it that you are doing in term three? Go back and revise those. That is what they are saying. As you had in your term three, do not forget to revise your construction of geometric figures. Do not forget to work with your geometry of 2D shapes. Do not forget your transformation geometry. Revise that. That is what they are saying. Do not forget to revise those because they are going to be part of your examination. Also, they are saying, do not forget your term two also. Your term two, as you had your term two, the exponents, you had them. All right. Uh, sorry for my network, guys. Uh, it was just like something else there. All right. So they are saying, do not forget all this. The numeric and geometric patterns. Do not forget to revise all those. The functions and relationships as you had in your term two. They are saying, please revise those because they are going to be part of your exam. Also, do not forget to revise back as you had your term one. What were you working with in term one? The whole numbers. Remember, you dealt with your whole numbers. They are saying revise those whole numbers. Revise your common fractions. Revise also your decimal fractions. As you had all those topics that you were being taught at school, please revise them. They are going to be part of your heart, your exam, which is going to be covering paper one and paper two. So that is the major part they are trying to explain here to say your formal assessment task examination. Paper one and paper two. All topics from term one to term four. So please, guys, uh, let's revise. All the best as we are doing these revisions. Uh, let us continue to do as much as we can. Uh, have time for yourself to just revise. These are calculations. You know, calculations, they need time. So find time to revise those. Once in a while, just find some, self, uh, some time when you, when you find yourself revising what you did in term one, term two, and term three. It can help you a lot in your exam. So that's it, guys. Till we meet again.